What's the worst that could happen here? Should the tension in the West not ease down anytime soon? I mean, the BSP has set a tipping point, $110 per barrel. Are we closer to that now? Is that a possibility? Well, they're even talking about $120 uh, dollars, uh, per barrel. And uh, up, uh, right now, we are already up in the 100, uh, approaching the $100 uh, dollar level. And the conflict has not even uh, come uh, full-blown. So uh, I think uh, we can expect that uh, things will get uh, worse uh, before it gets better. So uh, what can we do? I'm not sure that uh, we can do better than uh, uh, the European countries with uh, more advanced uh, economies or in the, even in the U.S., uh, which right now is already experiencing uh, high levels of uh, uh, prices. Uh, and uh, what uh, we can expect here is that once this uh, conflict uh, goes full-blown, uh, the Philippines uh, will uh, really feel the uh, impact of this. Okay, it goes without saying, Prof. Lico, this is going to derail the country's recovery. But how bad is it going to be for the Philippines, especially when it comes to attracting investments? I mean, do we stand to lose investments here as investors flee to safe havens? Well, uh, attracting investments right now uh, is always, uh, has always been a problem for the Philippines. Now, with this new uh, uh, monkey wrench uh, being thrown at us, uh, that will even uh, be more difficult. So uh, I think rather than uh, look at uh, foreign investors coming in uh, right now, let us look at how we can manage and how we can provide a better cushion for the consumers uh, uh, during this uh, conflict.